Moving on to the winner in this category, and that is Ellen Taylor. Unsung hero Ellen Taylor is the membership secretary of Yate and District Athletic Club. She has been membership secretary at Yate and District for over 10 years and until recently managed the subscription process manually. Now she's created and manages a very successful online membership system, something very much needed as her club enjoys boom in numbers, as we've seen. Not only this, but she also takes on tasks such as the match day commentating, comparing the club awards night, and sometimes even turning her health to cleaning. Friendly and outgoing and ready to take on any role, Ellen is a perfect membership ma um, ma manager and that she can put everyone at her ease and make them feel welcome. Good and evening. So I'm Jeremy Dale, Chair of Yaton District Athletics Club, and I'd like to introduce you tonight to Ellen Taylor, our nomination for the Southwest Unsung Hero Award for 2021. Ellen has been involved in Yate AC since 2009 and has been volunteering at the club for all of those 13 years. Ellen's one of the friendliest people at the club and always interested in all the athletes' achievements. Ellen plays an active role on the Yate AC committee where she is fully invested in making the best decisions for the good of the club and our athletes. Her main role has been as our membership secretary, which she has done since 2012. In this role, Ellen has been many of the athletes' first port of call in understanding and joining the club. In the last few years, Ellen has put in many extra hours to set us up on an online membership portal. And our membership this year is the highest it has been for at least 10 years, with over 200 competing athletes of all ages. Aside from this role, Ellen's volunteering commitment has stretched to almost every other role you could think of. She regularly works behind the bar and in the kitchen during club nights, helping raise much needed funds for Yate Outdoor Sports Complex. And she organises and encourages the other volunteers who work behind the bar too. Thank you Ellen for helping out at my competitions and serving hot chocolates at the bar. Ellen attends every home match as our very own athletics commentator and she organises and makes all the lunches for the officials as well. Thank you, Ellen, for announcing at so many of our competitions this summer. Ellen is our DBS verifier and she produces our annual glossy membership booklet. She organises and compares our annual awards evening, a highlight of the year for all club members. She gets involved in fundraising and is happy to clean the toilets and changing rooms as the need arises. Ellen is always the first to put her hand up to volunteer and it's fair to say that the club relies on her in so many ways. When the sports complex was at risk of closure in 2015, Ellen joined forces with Jeremy and other members of the Yate AC committee to form a charitable trust to take over the running of the facility and Ellen is still an active trustee today. She has truly been part of safeguarding the future of athletics in the area. These are just some of the reasons why Ellen is definitely our unsung hero. Yate AC wouldn't be where it is today without her. I'd just like to say thank you very much to Ellen. She's been with me right from the beginning when we started our charity to run YOSC, which obviously is a great benefit to Yate and District Athletics Club. Her work for Yate has gone unnoticed for many, many years. And during this time, she's been absolute rock to me in difficult times. I'm really looking forward to celebrating a bit more with you. Thank you very much, Ellen. Thank, Thank you, Ellen. Ellen. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you, Ellen, for everything. You're amazing. Cheers, Ellen. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you, Ellen. Thanks, Ellen. Thank you, Ellen. You absolute legend. So Ellen, let me add a thank you too. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm speechless. Never happened before. <laughs> well, try not, boys, try not to be, because for 13 years you've been managing the ship. Um, what are you going to do in the next 13 years? Oh, find something else. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. Out of that door. <laughs> so you can't retire. So what else are you going to go on to do? Well, we've got we've got plans for the next few years. So. Um, yeah, with, 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 as Jeremy said earlier, with a bit of steadying the ship to go on, um, 
lots more embarrassing my children and other people's children on the mic. I think that that's my favourite bit is um, is showing people up on the mic. And so you're looking to take over from um, Catherine Merry on the next comparing for Commonwealth in uh, oh. Birmingham. Oh. I think they could learn from us, didn't they? <laughs> Indeed. Their language is probably better. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> anyway, Ali, Ellen, thank you so very much for what you do and very many congratulations. Well, as an unsung hero, I just want to say thank you to everybody else, all of the other volunteers, because it wouldn't be possible. Um, all, of, all of the fun we have, and uh, it, it's absolutely brilliant. So everybody should have a massive thank you tonight. So thank you, everyone. Thank you. Take care. Thank you.